Hey guys, I have something a little bit different here for you this morning, and uh, this is actually one of you guys requested this, so I am addressing uh, one of my subscribers, one of you. Now, unfortunately, I don't remember your username, but uh, this particular subscriber uh, had some questions on a Ford with a 5.4 in lean conditions, and and uh, it sounded like from the description that he actually has maybe a restricted exhaust. So what I want to show this morning being that I have one is how easy it is to find a restricted exhaust on a Ford system like this. This is a 5.4 engine on a Ford Explorer 2003 and uh, let me just go right to it. Okay, the first step is we need to make sure that we have an EGR system. Some of these did not. So I have an EGR valve sitting here and then I have a component that Ford has used on many, many systems it's called a DPFE sensor. That's Delta Pressure Feedback for the EGR, DPFE. And what we wanna do with this is we just wanna take one of these two hoses off. It doesn't matter which one. I just pop them both off there. And let me plug the one back on. I just need to have an open port. These are exhaust tubes. Let me zoom you in on that for a second. So again, all I did was I popped the hose off here and there is a metal port that goes down to the exhaust pipe. We can do a measurement right there. And I'm just using a little cheap vacuum pressure gauge that's going to go right on top of the tube. And then what we wanna do is start the vehicle up and I'll show you our back pressure numbers here in a second. This vehicle also has a misfire on, on number eight cylinder. The injector is not firing from an open in the wire, but I want to show you guys the back pressure test. Some of that fluttering is from the misfire. What we want to do, look at our gauge. There's zero. The pressure scale is this one right here. Let's watch it. Raise my RPM to about 3,000. sound isn't it I think that was one of your complaints too with some kind of a weird weird sound but watch watch the gauge Well, that was it. You guys saw on that we had somewhere between, somewhere between about six, about six and nine psi. And I did this a few times. Temperature of the cat can change, you know, how this thing breathes. But uh, no, the spec that we use is no more than two psi at 3,000 RPM in park. That's a no loaded situation. There's not a lot of airflow. We should not have really any back pressure during that time. And I have to tell you the good systems I've done, you'll pretty much hover around zero. So that's it. This definitely has a plugged exhaust. Now this one has three different cats on it. So which one's plugged is a whole different ball game. Uh, we'll actually be doing that on, in a different video on my other channel, which is Scanner Danner Premium. But uh, in this case, I thought it would be really nice to show you guys a very fast back pressure test using a back pressure for the EGR, transducer for the EGR, using that port as a quick access to the exhaust system.